Hey guys, Clint Darden here with ClintDarden.com and of course the house of biceps. I am here in the squat rack today to discuss something very important and that is the truth about Olympic squats and ATG squats. People love to comment on my squat videos, everybody else's squat videos, comparing IPF, SPF, whatever. Um, most of the talk comes from guys who just train at home and post pictures on the Facebooks and then tweet out stuff saying, oh, is my squat deep enough? It's an only squat. It's an ATG squat. It's a real squat. Let me tell you what a real squat is. A real squat is done on a platform in a competition with three judges at a sanctioned meet and gets two white lights. That's a real squat. That is the only squat there is. That is the only squat that counts. I'll tell you this, your little ATG squat is not an only squat. You know what Olympic lifters squat? To have carryover over to their snatch and their clean and jerk. Nothing else. An Olympic weightlifter does not care what their best numbers are on the squat, front squat or back squat. Sometimes it is an indicator that their clean and jerk or their snatch might have gone up. Sometimes it's an indicator that they're ready to go back and set some PRs on their big lifts. That's it. But Clint, you're probably saying, an Olympic lifter squats ATG. You're absolutely wrong. Uh, people talk about Olympic lifting squats, and I've been one of them, talking about how you know they're wrong, they're bad for your knees, uh, how you should always squat, you should squat back, knees should be, uh, shins should be vertical, uh, you know, knees behind your ankles, around your ankles, something like that, sitting back into the pocket. You see an Olympic lifter squat, you see all my training partners squat, knees way over the toes. But if you watch carefully, do you know why that is? They do that to get in the exact same position as they're roughly going to be at the bottom of the snatch and at the bottom of the clean on their clean and jerk. No other reason. An Olympic lifter does not squat to look cool on the Facebooks. He does not tweet photos of himself squatting. If an Olympic lifter posts a photo on the Facebooks or tweets a photo out, he's going to be doing a snatch or a clean and jerk with a PR weight. So that covers the Oli squat. What about your little ATG squat? You know, it's absolutely great that you can squat with your butt almost to the floor. It's absolutely great that you can go all over the YouTubes and the Facebooks and the internets and tell me that my oldie squats are high. That's absolutely fine. You know what? I don't have to go very deep before my hamstring touch my calves. You know why? Because I've got 30-something inch thighs. Because my thighs touch halfway down my legs. When you see me squat, that's as deep as it goes. When you see me doing an Olympic style squat, that's as deep as it goes. It's absolutely great that you can get your butt to the floor with your skinny little legs. So why is it you can get your butt to the floor? 99% of the time, you have no arch in your lower back. If you squatted properly, if you had a major arch in your lower back, if your elbows are down and your chest were up, you wouldn't be squatting ATG, that's for sure. So how do I squat? I squat JV style front squats with my arms out in front, thumbs up. I squat Olympic style, which is high bar, going down as deep as I can go as long as my back's arched. And obviously, Denver squats. So guys, Oli squats, ATG squats, not the same, not the same at all. Your little ATG squats are great but they mean absolutely nothing. Get on a platform, do them on a platform, in front of three judges and a sanctioned meet, and get at least two white lights.